derive an equation for Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Avogadro's law from kinetic gas equation. According to kinetic gas equation, PV is equals to 1 by 3 m n mu square, which is equals to 2 by 3 half of m mu square, where m is equals to m small m into n, that is the molecular weight, total mass of the gas. But half of m mu square is equals to kinetic energy of the gas, so we can replace this from the from the equation. So the equation becomes PV is equals to 2 by 3 kinetic energy. From the postulates of kinetic theory of gas, kinetic energy is also proportional to absolute temperature T or kinetic energy is equals to small k into T where k is the constant of proportionality. Putting these in these values in equation 1, PV is equals to 2 by 3 kT. As 2 by 3 and small k is constant, we can say PV is proportional to temperature T. And this is Boyle's law. From equation 2, again, PV is equal to 2 by 3 kT. So therefore, V by T is equal to 2 by 3 k by P. Now, 2 by 3 is a constant and k is also a constant. Therefore, if P is kept constant, v by t becomes constant again this is charles law now consider any two gases according to kinetic theory of kinetic gas equation for first gas p1 v1 is equal to 1 by 3 m1 n1 mu1 square and for the second gas p2 v2 is equal to 1 by 3 m2 n2 nu2 half square now as therefore therefore 2 by 3 and one now we can replace Now we can replace half of m1 mu1 square with the kinetic energy. So it becomes 2 by 3 n1 kinetic energy 1 is equals to 2 by 3 n2 kinetic energy 2. Therefore on simplifying it becomes n1 kinetic energy 1 is equals to n2 kinetic energy 2. Further according to the one of the postulates of the kinetic gas theory kinetic energy of two gases are proportional to the temperature. So they will be same and therefore they can be cancelled and now it becomes n1 is equals to n2 and this is Avogadro's law.